capacitance of a more complex situation like this, we've got C1 is 3, and then C2 is 11, C3 is 3, and C4 is 5. So you have to kind of break it down. Now, when you're in parallel, they're additive, right? So C3 and C4 will just be 8, right? But then these two, C3 and C4, are in parallel with C2, so it'll be just 8 plus 11. So it's actually going to be 8 plus 11, which is 19. And then we basically have, you know, C1 connected to the rest of them all together, and this rest of them is 19. You know what this number is, because now they're in series. So well, then you'll do 1 over C1 plus 1 over 19 to the negative 1. And when we get to number B, if you will, you're just adding a 4 and a 5, or 5 and a 6, and you're going to follow that process. Now, warning, what I would do is I would add these two first. It would be 1 over C2 plus 1 over C6 to negative 1, so I could convert this into just an individual capacitor. Um, and then you're going to then add these together, just add, add, because these are parallel. Parallel are added, just direct adding. And then you will have these in parallel with these two, or with this one, if you will. You'll add those, and then whatever that all comes down to, you'll have 1 over C1 plus 1 over C, I'll say, for complex. This, this whole thing is the complex one. You're going to want to find what that whole adds up to all that to the negative first.